Honorable Speaker, in my constituency, the environment's an incredibly important issue. And uh, nothing illustrates better this government's approach to the environment than the disaster of Mount Pauly. You know, Honorable Speaker, I was up there in my role as uh, the spokesperson for tourism for the NDP, the official opposition, pardon me. And uh, it, there are just a couple basic elements that you would think would be part of the response to a disaster of this scale. First, you'd probably have a cleanup plan. There'd probably be a cleanup plan. And you'd want to communicate that plan to the community. The second piece is, you'd probably want to stop the spill. You'd probably want to stop the spill. The third thing is, once you had a cleanup plan and you stopped the spill, you'd probably want to plan to restore confidence in the area and encourage tourism to take place. As tourism spokesperson, it's very important uh, for me to emphasize that. And yet I went up there and I heard from people in the community, number one, it's still spilling. Oh, I hear the member from Caribou. I hear the member saying, I should have visited the one person who got $50,000 from the government. Because he has, he has good things to say, Honorable Speaker. Well, no surprise. But I visited the business owners in the area, Honorable Speaker. I visited the business owners who said, A, still spilling. B, the plume is growing. The plume is growing. C, the cleanup plan has not been communicated to the community. No, I hear, I hear the member saying uh, it's under review with, with the First Nations and the Regional District. Now, I, I guess it doesn't need to be under review with the community members of likely, Honorable Speaker. <laughs> Honorable Speaker, Honorable Speaker, I sat down and the, the members on the other side, yeah, the members on the other side, the members on the other side can say what they please. But I sat down with businesses in the member from Caribou's area, and I sat down with the Tourism Association in the member from Caribou's area, and they said, A, this government has failed. This government has failed us. We have plans. They ignored those plans. We had a spill. We don't know what the cleanup plan is. They are operating on a totally different planet from us. And I am here to bring that message to the member from Caribou who sat by while ferries were cut to her community that supported tourism businesses there as well. If there is a failure, Honourable Speaker, it is not my failure to conclude this speech. It is the failure of the member of Caribou to support her constituents and the failure to ensure that the throne speech reflected priorities of her community. <clears throat> we're, uh, we're tracking on a uh, course. Uh, I'll get the member to get back to the throne speech. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. Yeah. I will. Honourable Speaker, a lot of, it, a lot of talk uh, in the throne speech about one issue, which is LNG development. With the reckless approach to resource development of this government, the lack of inspections, and the, uh, uh, what put a capital letter at the beginning of this sentence, the Mount Pauly disaster, um, it's no wonder that people have no confidence in this government, that they say one thing and then they do another. <laughs> 